Okay, I wanted to record uh, somewhat of an update video to update you on the process of how you can use Sure Triggers to basically connect SureCart or, or a purchase in SureCart over to Thrive Apprentice by way of going from Sure Triggers to Thrive Automator. And we're gonna walk through how to do it real quick and, and why you would want to perhaps choose to use Sure Triggers. So to get started, we're gonna create a new trigger inside of Sure Triggers, or I guess they're called workflows. Uh, let's go ahead and add a trigger. Our trigger here is going to be SureCart because a purchase just happened. I recommend using Purchase Created. And for our connection, we're going to select our SureCart site or our SureCart account. And now we need to select the product that is going to trigger here. So I'll just use uh, my membership as an example. And then you'll need to click Fetch Data just to have some data inside of our workflow to play with. Then click Save then click this plus to add another action. And here's what's different from a previous video that I've recorded. You used to choose webhook, but now we choose API because we're going to send an API request. However, it's not as scary as it sounds. Our API request is just a fancy way of saying webhook, which hopefully by watching this channel, you're very familiar with how webhooks work. So we're going to post, instead of query parameters, we're going to choose JSON and our endpoint URL is going to be what we get from Thrive Automator. So I've got another tab open here with Thrive Automator open. For Thrive Automator now, we need to set up this side. This is going to catch the data sent by Sure Triggers in order for us to grant access to our Thrive Apprentice product. So we'll choose incoming webhook and this will give us a webhook for us to use. We'll click copy. We'll come back over to Sure Triggers. We'll paste in our webhook URL. We do not need to wrap it in an array, so we can leave that as default. We don't need authentication, but we do need parameters, so be sure to check the Add Parameters option. And we're going to click Add Parameter here. For this parameter, we are going to create the key of email, and our value is going to be our customer email address. Now, there is perhaps an upcoming update to Sure Triggers, so rather than have to re-record this video uh, a third time here, I want to emphasize that in the future, you might put the at sign and then start looking through uh, some of what this button over here on the right does, this dynamic tag button where we can search for the smart tags or the dynamic tags that pull in data. So click this button here on the right hand side and it opens up our, our search field. And this is what would appear in the future maybe if you put the at sign. And we're gonna search for email. Now, once you start doing enough of these, you're going to realize that uh, they never change, right? Customer.email inside of the curly braces or brackets is our smart tag or our dynamic tag. So that's what we want to put there. And then you can add another parameter if you wanted to for like name. And then you would do uh, same thing. Click over here for the customer first name. And that's just customer.first underscore name inside of the curly brackets. And then you'd click test action. Now, the reason why you would use Sure Triggers pretty much at all in this part of the workflow is for two reasons. If you were going to be adding other, let's call them external tools and making additional API requests, whatever those might be, or if you were adding additional apps here, for example, let's just, let me look at this list. The list is enormous. There are so many apps here that this can connect with. Even though Thrive Automator has a default Sure Cart integration, it does not have the third-party integrations with other tools quite at the caliber that Sure Triggers has right now. So this would be the benefit of using Sure Triggers. Another one is if you have your SureCart checkout happening on a completely separate website from your Thrive Apprentice setup. In that case, you definitely would need to use Sure Triggers first. And I would like to refer you to another video that I have all about how to make that happen. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. So you would simply click this plus sign and continue to add different applications as needed. But for right now, this is all we need is this API request sending our data over to Thrive Automator. So let's go ahead and open this up now and finish on the Thrive Automator side. We added those two parameters. They were uh, email and they were, what did we put here under API request name? So email and name. And here we're going to for email, we're just going to map that to dynamic mapping email. And for name, we're just gonna map that to general data text. And that's fine, we can click done there. And then from here, we want to add another action. We want to choose WordPress, and we want to choose find or create user. The user in this case, in this particular setup, 
would already exist on the site. So we don't need to worry about anything else. We just, it automatically finds their email. It basically just looks for any account with that email. And then it says, oh, okay, that's the person you want us to now add or do whatever comes next in the action. So we're gonna add another action, choose Thrive Apprentice, and we're going to grant access to product. And here it would be whatever product in Thrive Apprentice that aligns with our Surecart product that we selected back here under purchase created. So in this example, I chose my community membership. So I'll choose my community membership on this side as well. And from here we can click done. And if you felt so inclined, you could add additional actions. As you can see, there are quite few of them. Uh, you can click email and from here you can add them in your autoresponder. Uh, I have Fluent CRM, for example. I could add that here if I didn't want to add that back over here inside of Sure Triggers. So that's a quick little look at how you can kind of incorporate Sure Triggers and Thrive Automator together as it pertains to Surecart purchases giving access to Thrive Apprentice. Kind of a techie tutorial, but I hope it kind of illuminated how this process works, particularly with Sure Triggers calling webhooks API requests now.